Well, yesterday, Prime Minister Ingram stopped in Montague, Marathon and Angliston on the campaign trail. We get more from Shanique Miller. Testimony of the Opportunity Society started by the FNM in the last five years. Jobs under his administration. Good jobs. I am working. Yes. Greatness. Just to know we have any support means a lot to us. You see, they say any down for us. You see, they say in the youths of this country. That's all it's about. Him and the youths. That's what he's down for. Jamal Clark greeted the Prime Minister as he walked about the Camp Road, Mini Street, Wolf Road and Pinedale areas yesterday evening, eager to tell him that he's benefited from the programs and policies the Ingram administration put in place. I have a bank account, money on my account. You see they saying I ain't break, see the smile? Is this the first time in your, in your life? Yes. You see they saying? I none of them. All my dogs get jobs and ain't none of them break. Yeah. Yeah. In the egg. Me and break under the FNM administration. As he's done for the last three weeks, Prime Minister Ingram took to the streets again yesterday, speaking to residents regardless of party affiliation, shaking hands and embracing many. While some who didn't support the FNM jeered and threw up party signs and paraphernalia, many residents saw his walking through areas that are known to be socially and criminally challenged in the city communities as just the right message for those who call them home. What it does is it gives persons who would have come from humble beginning an opportunity to see that you can rise to the highest height if you just put yourself to it and put your head to it and work hard. I'm excited to know that he's walking around because at least the people can get to see who the Prime Minister is all about. Some who were confined to wheelchairs and could only look out their windows were happy when Mr. Ingram entered their homes and spoke with them directly. It mean a lot to me because the first time I see him and twice and twice to face, he hugged me and I kissed him, he kissed me back. Even if I wasn't there for him, I'm very proud to know that what he's doing in this country and then some people just don't agree with it. Yeah. So I'm very proud of what he's doing in this country. I am so glad that he's walking. I know when he gets into power, he's going to make a difference and he's going to make a change and I am standing by him 100%. We call these kind of areas the ghetto. So right now he's in the areas walking, mixing along with everybody. PLPs, FNM, CNAs, it don't matter. He's still the prime minister for this country. We need him today. Now, while everyone thought the walkabout was a step in the right direction, one woman thought both parties shouldn't do it on the same day. You see, while Mr. Ingram walked in the area in the vicinity of Marathon Mall, so too was the PLP's candidate, Jerome Fitzgerald, and a group of PLP supporters. I'm proud to see the Prime Minister coming through the Grove. I'm proud of him. Hats off. But to see both sides of the party arguing and carrying on, I'm very disappointed. This is the first time the Senator has walked since the campaign started. And he decided to walk today. Then our Prime Minister is here. I don't understand. Undeterred, the Prime Minister continued through the constituency, greeting residents, posing for pictures, and talking to the children and others who sought him out. After hearing how his presence in the community lifted the spirits of so many residents, he said he was happy to provide that example. It fills my heart. The reality is there are many women in this country who see me as representative of what their sons and daughters can be. And that's why I have such strong support amongst them. My support in over the hill areas is very strong. People are going to be very surprised how well we do in the election in grassroots area of the Bahamas. Inspired by the story of Jamal, Ingram said his administration has been working to create programs in the last five years that would not only lift the spirits of young men and women, but empower them as well. One of the things we do in the job running this program is we are ensuring that young people open bank accounts so they learn how to save, how to put their money in the bank, um, so they also get skills. I think it helps them um, to really understand his passion for people, um, especially in the inner city community, his dedication and commitment over the years while in government. He shake my hand, but I don't know what to say. This is unbelievable. Shanique Miller, CNS News.